You're the worst kind of woman. Stealing someone else's fiancé? Aren't you ashamed? Huh? Excuse me, who are you? And now, you're openly planning a wedding? I wonder how you were raised. I'd love to see your parents' faces. Could it be that you have the wrong person? Don't play dumb with me, you sneaky thief. Thief? Hold on a second. Who are you? At least, tell me your name first. Avery! Avery? Oh, wait. Are you Dylan's childhood friend? I'm not just his childhood friend. I'm also Dylan's fiancé, so get that straight. What? How dare you deceive my Dylan like that? I've never experienced anything like this in my life. This is such a humiliation. I can't believe someone like you, a sneaky woman, would steal my precious fiancé. I will never forgive you. Wait a minute. Listen. Dylan and I had our parents' blessing, and we had promised to get married. And yet... You had the nerve to take him away from me. You homewrecker. Criminal. Don't think you'll get to marry Dylan just like that, you idiot. Avery, please calm down. I didn't steal anything from you, so stop making baseless accusations. Huh? You stole my fiancé and you're acting all innocent? Do you know how shocked I was when our mutual friend told me about the wedding? If you were truly being honorable, you would have sent me, his childhood friend, an invitation to the wedding. Wait, you weren't invited? Oh, don't play dumb. It's probably because you told him not to invite me. No, I didn't tell him anything. I'm sure Dylan wanted to invite me, but he held back because of you and didn't send the invitation. Not inviting me to the wedding means... You know deep down this marriage is shady. You know you stole him from me, don't you? I don't have any such awareness. And as for the wedding invitations, if you were to be invited, wouldn't it be as a guest on Dylan's side? I've left all of that up to Dylan. If you're upset about not being invited, you should talk to him directly. What's with that smug attitude? You definitely told Dylan not to invite me, didn't you? I know everything. I didn't tell him that. I'd be more than happy to welcome any of Dylan's childhood friends. I'm not just a friend. I told you. I'm his fiancé. What's this welcome nonsense? Acting all confident? You home wrecker? Just because you got ahead and made it to the wedding? Don't get cocky. No matter what tricks he used to seduce Dylan, I've been with him since we were kids, so I'm the one who's going to marry him. Don't think the wedding will go off without a hitch. Dylan, I need to ask you something. Gianna, what's up? You have a childhood friend named Avery, right? Yeah, but what about her? Well, I just got a message from her on WhatsApp. What? Why would Avery be texting you? She suddenly started asking me if I wasn't ashamed of stealing someone else's fiancé. She called me the worst kind of woman, a sneaky thief, and all sorts of insults. She was clearly furious, but I had no idea what she was talking about. What? She even insisted that she's your fiancé. Huh? She claimed you both had your parents' blessing and had promised to get married, and that she'll never forgive me for taking you away from her. What the hell is going on? Then she said the reason she wasn't invited to the wedding is because it's some kind of shady marriage or something. So what's going on between you and Avery? There's nothing going on. That can't be true. Avery's obsession is way too intense. Were you two dating back in the day? Tell me the truth. Honestly, 
I never dated Avery, I swear. You've got to believe me. Then why do I have to deal with her saying all this? She's insisting she's your fiancé. That's from when we were in kindergarten. Kindergarten? Yeah, our parents were close, and back then, Avery and I were really good friends, too. Good friends? Were you two that close? Yeah, our families would often have meals together, go on trips, stuff like that. And since Avery and I always played together at kindergarten, people would joke around, saying they're going to get married someday. So you promised to marry her? Yeah, I think it was during a summer camp or something. Back in kindergarten, our parents were all excited, joking like, wouldn't it be fun if they got married one day? And? Avery jumped in, all smiles, and asked, Dylan, will you marry me? And then? As a kid, I casually said, yeah, we'll always be together. And the adults around us were laughing, saying, well, I guess that's an engagement then. I see. That makes sense. But really, we were only close when we were in kindergarten. We went to the same elementary and middle school, but we never dated or anything. So Avery still thinks that kindergarten promise is valid now that you're adults? Yeah, I think that's it. Not to be rude, but isn't that kind of abnormal? Sorry for asking again, but are you sure you never became more than friends? I swear, it never happened. I'd swear to God, there's nothing like that between us. The only person I want to marry is you, Gianna. Avery just doesn't have any friends, so she's been overly dependent on me. Dependent? What do you mean? To be so attached to a childhood friend? There must have been something serious between you two, right? No, there's nothing shady going on. It's just that, for some reason, Avery has always liked stealing other people's boyfriends. And because of that, she's just kind of fixated on me. Yeah. Because of that, she kept getting into trouble throughout school. And sometimes it even cost her to stop attending classes. Since she didn't have any friends, I, being her childhood friend, would bring her class printouts. And that's when she started getting a bit dependent on me. Does she still not have any friends? I don't think so. When she went to college in New York, things were going well, and she made some friends over there. But then, she started dating only married men, lost those friends, and was even shunned by her co-workers. So she became dependent on me again. So the homewrecker she was talking about is herself, huh? Exactly. But Dylan, you still stayed friends with Avery after all that? Since our parents were close and we're childhood friends, I just couldn't completely cut ties with her. That's probably why she's so dependent on me and against the wedding. So basically, Avery only has her family or you left in her life, huh? And maybe that's why she's holding on to that kindergarten promise. Yeah. I think that's what's going on. I've told her several times that I'm not going to marry her, but she just says, It's fine. I know you'll come back to me in the end, and it doesn't get through to her at all. If that's the case, why didn't you tell me about this sooner? If I had known the full story, I could have confronted her myself. I'm sorry. I didn't think she'd go as far as to contact you directly. It's weird, though. How did she even get my number? Maybe when Avery came over to my place, she snooped through my phone without me noticing. That's creepy. I really should have told you about all this earlier. I'm so sorry for putting you through this, Gianna. You apologized, so I'll let it go this time. But no more keeping things from me, okay? No matter what kind of trouble it is, don't try to handle it on your own. We have to keep each other informed. We're going to be married, so let's face things together. Thanks, Gianna. I'll make sure to talk to Avery and set things straight this time. No. If you reach out to Avery now, 
It'll be exactly what she wants. So let's just carry on as usual and not do anything. Do you think that'll be okay? We should probably just tell the venue she's a troublemaker and make sure they don't let her in. Other than that, let's focus on the wedding. You're right. I'll let the venue know what's going on. I'm really sorry for dragging you into this right before the wedding. I already forgave you, so there's no need to apologize anymore. Let's just focus on making sure our wedding goes off without a hitch. As long as we have a happy wedding and live our lives together, Avery will back off on her own. Good morning, Gianna. Are you already up? Huh? Avery? I knew you'd be up. Of course you are. Today's an important day for you. What do you want, texting me this early in the morning? Oh, come on. Don't be so cold. I just wanted to have a little chat. That's all. If you don't have anything important to say, please don't text me. It's my wedding day and I'm busy getting ready. Just so we're clear, neither I nor Dylan plan to invite you, so it's pointless to ask to come. Who said I'd ask for that? But I'm impressed you actually think your wedding will go off without a hitch. Canceling your wedding is the only thing that makes sense. What do you mean by that? I told you! Don't think this wedding is going to happen. Well... Seems like you still don't realize, but I stole your dress and sold it off. What? I'm going to ruin your wedding. You sold my dress? That's right. But wow, you've got such old-fashioned taste. I mean, what 20-something bride picked such a plain dress? Well, with nothing to wear, I guess today's wedding is canceled. Serves you right. This is what you get for stealing Dylan from me. Wait a second. What do you mean you sold my dress? Exactly what it sounds like. I put your dress up on an online auction, and it ended up selling for way more than I expected. Excuse me? At first I thought, well, let's see if this sells. But the auction got heated. Before I knew it, it was going for tens of thousands of dollars. Can you believe it? What? I was shocked too. Turns out, your dress was worth more than I thought. I didn't expect to sell it for so much. But hey, now I've got some extra spending money. I can't believe this. Serves you right. Without a dress, the wedding is canceled, right? This is what you get for taking my man. But I'm wearing the dress. What? What are you talking about? I told you, I sold the dress. That was not mine. Huh? I can't believe you put it up for auction. Get it back right now. Wait a second. There's no way it's not yours. I'm Dylan's childhood friend. So I'm close with his parents, too. That's how I know everything. Including the fact that you trusted Dylan to take care of your wedding dress. What? As his childhood friend, I'm practically part of his family. So getting into his house is a piece of cake. While no one was home, I sneaked into the living room, took the dress off the wall and sold it. How could you? I did leave it with him, but... See? It was your dress after all. But my dress wasn't stored in the living room. It was in the guest room we rarely use. What? And I actually picked up my dress the day before the wedding. What? Picked it up? Why? Well, I found out I'm pregnant, so just in case, I wanted to adjust the size of the dress to make it a little looser. My mom is a tailor, and she can handle dress alterations. So I picked it up last minute the day before the wedding. Wait a second. Then whose dress was that at Dylan's house? It was plain, sure, but it was pure white and clearly a wedding dress. 
That was his mother's dress. What? His mom's? When she married, her husband was really busy with work, so they never had a wedding. Dylan's father always regretted that and wanted to see her in a wedding dress and take pictures together someday. So Dylan suggested taking a family photo after our wedding to make a nice memory. That's why his mother's dress was at their house. No way! The venue staff was really excited to help with this, and Dylan's mom was so thrilled, preparing for her first time ever in a wedding dress. She must be so heartbroken now that it's been sold. How was I supposed to know that? Well, you're the one who made it confusing, so it's your fault. No, Avery. You're the only one at fault here. How are you planning to make this right? Make it right? I've already sold the dress and it's gone. I should be the one asking what I'm supposed to do. Then I'll tell you what to do and you need to do it right away. What you need to do is get the dress back immediately and apologize to Dylan's parents. Get it back? But... Well, excuse me. Just make sure you retrieve it as soon as possible. We still have plenty of time before the wedding starts, so good luck. That's impossible! I already shipped it out by courier! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Avery, how's the dress situation? I'm trying my hardest to buy it back right now! But then you go and file a police report. My parents just called. The police are looking for me. Wow. The police actually act pretty fast, don't they? Don't mess with me. I'm doing exactly what you told me to. I'm trying desperately to get the dress back. I sold it online, so I rushed to the shipping center this morning to stop it. And now you've already filed a report? That's just cruel. Oh, really? That's surprising. What's that supposed to mean? Knowing you, I thought you would have run away by now. I'm trying this hard because I know I can't run away. Just hurry up and get the police report withdrawn. I'm so close to getting the dress back, so forgive me. I can't stop it now. What? So you should just give up. What do you mean, give up? You're the one who filed the report, so you can withdraw it, right? Since you filed it, just take it back. I didn't file the police report. It was Dylan's mother. What? No way! His mom did that? It seems she was much more attached to that wedding dress than we thought. It was a one-of-a-kind custom-made dress that her husband had especially made for her. After what you did... She's furious and says she'll never forgive you. I know she's got a kind side, but is she genuinely that furious? Of course she is. Dylan's mom has always been so kind to me ever since I was a kid. Our families would visit each other all the time, and she treated me like her own daughter. If I apologize, she'll forgive me. She has a message for you. You have been like family to us for years. That's exactly why I won't go easy on you. What? She's determined to take this all the way. Whether it's theft, robbery, whatever it is, she's going to make sure you pay for it. She wants you to reflect on how stupid your actions were. I'm reflecting! I've reflected enough already! So please, get her to drop the police report! I never thought it would turn into something this big. Save your excuses and apologies for the police station. Wait. I just... I just wanted to stop you and Dylan from getting married. I didn't mean to ruin his mom's wedding dress. First of all, breaking into someone's house and selling their belongings without permission is beyond acceptable. But I didn't want to lose Dylan to anyone. Wait. Maybe Dylan will help me. That's unlikely. Dylan is even angrier than his mom. No way! Is Dylan mad too? 
Well, we have a wedding to celebrate, so excuse me. I never expected such commotion on our wedding day, but the ceremony went off without any further issues. The venue was kind enough to let us postpone the post-wedding photos without any extra fees. A few days later, the wedding was safely returned to Dylan's mother, and we were able to take the family photos at the venue. Dylan's mother looked absolutely stunning in her wedding dress, and Dylan's father was deeply moved. However, neither Dylan's mother nor his father has forgiven Avery, and they have no intention of withdrawing the police report. As a result of this incident, even Avery's own parents have finally given up on her, leaving her completely alone. I hope she reflects on her actions and makes amends for her crime while at the police station. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.